Harrow. Harrow, Jonathan. Uh, Nick, hello. Yes, sir. I have a few things weighing on my mind, you say. A couple of three things. Well, I'm just on the quick on the Harry point, he does... That, that, this is not my main point, but he's a young boy who has been really. corrupted by the Meghan Markle. Not really. Not not very young. He's, he's about 40, 42 years old already. He, he is losing sympathy from the British people. Oh, please. Now, he's losing sympathy. People don't love him anymore. <laughs> sure they do. They just blame no. her for everything. But the main thing is yeah. that I want to apologise to you. You want to apologise to me? Because you don't, I feel you don't so have to bad. You don't have to tell me why. You can just apologise. I will accept your no. apology with good grace. No, but I need to tell you. It's I'd important. I pre prefer that you didn't tell me what it was you were apologising about, that you just said sorry. And I want you okay. to think... Of, Jonathan, I want you to think about what you've done. OK, but the thing is, <laughs> you, you are one of the few people who are sticking up for the Corbyn. Sticking up for and, the Corbyn. And I believe all of the lies about him. And now I look at this country. I was Googling Trump today, and apparently he's conned a lot of people. You were Googling Trump? Disgusting. That's, is that as bad as it sounds? Yes, listen to me. It's a serious point. I was in yeah. the holiday in mm -hmm. Calcutta. Yes. And when I was dri being driven out of the Calcutta, it was even he's got a Trump Tower there. And that's got lots of controversy as well. So the problem is that you are one of the few people who are talking against the Brexit, Trump, and you are saying Corbyn is a good man. Well, I, 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 don't, so I don't believe I ever said Corbyn was a good man, and uh, those no. words did not e uh, exit my mouth, but no, I but he, just don't pile he, on like uh, the, uh, the billionaire-owned offshore British press barons do. No, but by not saying he was a bad man, yes. you were making I, a point. Right. I think. I, I was actually oh, this... saying that I was in love with him. Is that what you mean? But are you now scared to say you are? Because I just want to say this country now. I'd like to suck. Is... I'd like to suck the soup out of his beard. Is that what you mean? It... Now listen. This country is in such a bad situation, and I was going to say that it's oh, Corbyn. I'm so sorry. I didn't trust him. <laughs> There's the th three listeners with material in a row on the Nicky Abbott show. And he hung up on himself. <laughs> Which means that I don't have to. It's a dream come true. Hey, Melania, somebody's been Googling your husband. I don't care. She's not that bothered. Next time, let's have um, a call in Harrow. Hello, Jonathan. I got through quickly today. Hello. Jonathan. Uh, I wanted to say, can you hear me? Because the boy said I need to put the phone to my ear. Can you hear me okay? No. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Listen, I had a few things to say. I, I'm currently watching You're the... Current watching? The Rishi Sunak interview with the Piers Morgan. Oh, yeah. Now, I've done... I don't want to anger you so early on into your soul. But oh, no. I, I, listen, I voted the Brexit <gasps> and... I voted for the Conservative, and I had a very bad MP, and because I believe a lot of the thingies I read in the paper. So yes. Financially, it has decimated me. Decimated? And I was on holiday mm -hmm. in the December in Calcutta. Right, and when so I thought, you, weren't, you weren't that decimated then, were you? Holiday? What's it, a holiday when it's at home? Oh, no, I, I should be uh, I should be saving. What do they say now? You have to keep the lights off and it's the, yeah. uh, keep keep the heating off and everything. But I was in the St Calcutta. Stop breathing, that sort of thing. Yeah. And then when I come back, I, firstly I thought, oh, the UK, it's in good shape. I don't want to talk down uh, my home city. No. But I came back from Calcutta and I thought the UK is in good shape compared to this. But I've been here for two months and the whole country's <laughs> falling apart. <laughs> Right. You know? It's yeah. falling apart. It's, it's, I, I was in a... We're, in a, wor in we're a, in a worse state than Calcutta. Is that what you're saying? I, I was in a car park today, and I'm... You know, I don't want to offend anybody. But? But I was there, and it was in a very diverse part of the country. And, mm. oh, what? it was very... Harrow? Harrow? Yeah. Harrow? Diverse? Is it? Is that true? The Harrow on the Hill is the risk part. Oh, OK. It, but the rest, and there was mice and lots of rubbish, and I thought this is the trains don't work, nothing works, and I'm partly no. responsible. Yeah, it's your fault. Thanks a lot, mate. But, 
No, but also I'll tell you that this has to be... Oh, there's one side of the neighbor banging on the wall. So, so, <laughs> this, no, listen to me. The neighbors the, are is, banging on the wall. The Rishi Sunak, this interview, it is so good because he is so a kind man. Like yeah. it was the oh, Diana yeah, Panorama glorious. interview. Mm, yeah, it's kind the, man. You know, when Diana did the Panorama interview in 95. It reminds you of that? Because he has got this... He's got um, those look. eyes. Yeah, he's got those those little uh, puppy dog eyes. I'll tell you what he looks like. He looks like one of those dogs that when you put a cone around it, you know when you put a cone around a dog's head? Uh, it, it's just got one of those looks on it. Or, if you can't imagine that, then just think of what a dog looks like when it's doing its, uh, you know, when it's doing its, um... Uh, the thing that you've got to pick up afterwards. They always get that look on their face, like, please don't interfere with me now, I'm busy. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I, I have it paused at uh, 11 minutes 12, and he looks like this, but he's very little, actually. But yeah, the incredibly point is small, this, yeah. The, the point is this, that I think he he's not a bad man, but he's just surrounded by very bad people. Yeah, well, um, m most of whom he's actually put in that position. So, I mean, if, if you're surrounded by bad people and you put bad people into positions of power, what does that make you? I expect no, it makes you a bad person. No, listen... Can, can I, just, can I just say one more thing quickly? Yeah. Because I think this country's mental health collectively is going very much down. Now, yeah. in no I know you're going to say, if I don't have money, how am I holidaying? But in December, I was on the way to Calcutta. I stopped in the Middle East. Yes. And, and I was in Europe earlier in the year. And the British people now, they look at mainland Europe and they look at the Middle East. And I'm not a sexist or... Uh, homophobic or nothing, but they look but. at the Middle East. <laughs> now, listen, they look... They, I know Middle East has got problems, but they look at and places like the Middle East and mainland Europe, they yeah. seem like first world countries compared yes. to the UK. Correct, okay? Amundo, Jonathan. So, so, well spotted, yes. So wh what I'll just say for the depression and the mental health of the country, when you have callers, the British people calling up, and they go, why can't we be like the France or the Germany or Abu Dhabi, that's not going to happen. We are now second world countries. So you look down in Calcutta, in Somalia, mm. in Afghanistan, yeah. there is a famine on the way. So you look down and you think at least we are not, uh, you know, right. in Karachi. Exactly, yeah. There was a, if you look down, there's you think at least in Britain. Yeah, there's people in Sierra, Sierra Leone who are pitying us right now. How embarrassing is that? No, but I'm being serious because the people in Britain think, why are we not doing better? But don't think like this because well, Britain I'll, is finished. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, sum up why we're not doing better in several syllables. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, 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 where do we... There it is, summed up. Harrow, Jonathan. Hello. <coughs> Good evening, Nick. Yes, sir. So, this, this country now is just teetering on the disaster. Yes. I, I don't want to... Um, present myself in a bad light. But? But I voted for the... I was telling the boy, I, I voted for the Brexit. Did you just call the uh, my glamorous assistant the boy? He's good. <laughs> he's, no, he's nice, though, because some of the, because some of the other ones, they always shout Terrible. at me to speak yeah. speak Awful. into the... They say, yeah. speak into the phone, but yeah, he's exactly. nice. exactly. I can't hear a word you're saying. Speak up. Can you hear me? No. Okay, so the point is, I voted for the Brexit in 2016. Mm -hmm. And then I, I voted for the Conservative Party two times. Right. And now, I, I know you're not pleased with me saying this, but <laughs> I, I... Because the, the newspapers did a lot of anti-carbon propaganda. Yes. But I don't know if you're scared now to speak up on the behalf of him, because I wake up sometimes thinking of him. Oh, Jezza Corbyn. Yeah, because you as a fan... I'm a fan. But I, are you scared to say this now? Because I think I was conned. Well, yes, you were conned. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Jeremy Corbyn. I just think that this country would not be in the state that it's in if Jeremy Corbyn had um, beaten uh, Bodger Johnson to the tape. It, it's just, it just it's inconceivable that that would be the case. But, does, but this means you're a fan of his. You like him. No, I'm not a fan. I'm just a, less of a, a supporter of the person that beat him. Which, oh, which by okay. the way, were the, 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 the small handful of billionaire, offshore, foreign resident, media barons who levelled their guns at Jeremy Corbyn the moment he said that he would look into the ownership 
of a large number of news titles in the hands of a very few number of people. The moment that he yeah. said that out loud, they um, they levelled their guns at him and kept pounding until they got rid of him. So, so, so someone who talked about the media also, and I don't want to mention his name, but I think the Prince Harry, his book, I bought it from the Smiths. Now, you don't want to mention Prince Harry's name. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Right, you don't want to mention him by name. Prince Harry, you say. Go on. And, and I bought his book, and I also resubscribed to Netflix to see the uh, documentary. Now, oh, yeah. I, I think him and his wife are very walky. <laughs> and wokey. it's true. Yeah. They are, they are. Yeah. Oh, and, the wokey dokey. Yes. Uh, and this, this country now, you might disagree with me on this, but this country is being suffocated by the, walk, walk, as I said, the walky cookies. You can't even go to the uh, office pub lunch mm -hmm. or the Christmas dinner because yeah. you have to be so careful in what you're uh, saying. You, you, like you're it, not allowed to say Christmas out loud because it's offensive now? Is that what you're saying? No, not, not this. Is it's this the war the, on Christmas? Uh, no, no, I, I do not have a sexist bone in my body. I'm not sure what that has to do with what I just said, but go ahead. No, because you're talking about the political correctness, but... No, you I are. Do not, I do not have a racist bone in my body. You mm -hmm. don't have an ass's bone in your body. No, ra racist. Oh, racist, right. I'm not a... See, I'm I, not I, a I, thought, I thought asses. <laughs> that made more sense no, to come me. come on, uh, on, come on, I'm being, I'm being serious. I do not have... Uh, in uh, fact, I'm ethnic, asses, ethnic minority myself, so I can't be a racist. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm ethnic minority myself, so I can't be a racist. That's completely untrue, and you know it. But go and, on. Uh, and I was in, even as an ethnic minority myself, I was in the part of London today, mm -hmm. and I thought there's so much immigration yes. that it leads to the discombobulate uncle, you call him Uncle uh, Nicholas, but... Uh, Farad used to say, oh. it is not racist to talk about the immigration. Now, I will tell you this he, much, Nick. Nick I'm not a N Nigel, Nigel Farage used to say a lot of things. The arguments that UKIP stands for aren't valid. He used to say that. He used to say... We should have a second referendum. He, I mean, you'd have to be out of your mind to, have, to want a second referendum, mm -hmm. a second Brexit referendum. Who wants a second Brexit referendum? We should have a second referendum. He said. I, I, I voted for the Brexit, but I'm, I'll tell you one thing, Nick. I'm not a fickle. Okay. You're not a pickle. Uh, uh, a pickle. I'm not a stupid. I'm not a stupid. When you say pickle, do you mean like a gherkin? No, tickle, tickle. Tickle, as in tummies? Stupid. T-H-R-C-K-O. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> Spell it again. <laughs> I can't do it. Now, listen to me. I, I, I think the walkies, the feminists, yeah. all of this... Mm -hmm. yeah, they're, are, they're, they're the problem. Do, yeah, I understand. Do, now, do you think I'm a stupid... Um, I, do, I've thought uh, a lot of things during the course of the last... Uh, do, seems like hours I've been uh, talking to now, you, Jonathan. Do but, you think I'm a ticker? Last point, if I can make it. You uh, cannot even say that the people who have led to this country is down for other people like the m and m because they introduced the swearing. Now the young girls and the kiddies swear. <laughs> they all are the promiscuous. It's true. <laughs> M&M is, <laughs> is the person that's ruined this country. Did you just say that? Not the You're sweets. Not. We're talking about the, uh, the uh, hippity hip hopper. You can't say that the 50 cent, the M&M, this is the problem because this country has got now morals nowadays. No. People, you should that's have right. to go into the restaurant mm -hmm. and so that you are the married. Yeah. It's that's Elvis, so that, that's right. It's Elvis's fault. I understand. Um, do, now, do you think I'm a stupid? Yes. Well, no, you, you keep asking me that question over and over again, Jonathan. If you keep asking me, eventually you're going to hear the word yes. Yes, yes, I do. I do. I definitely do. Is that satisfactory for you? And, and just the final thing is that Prince and, Harry has been taken in, by the Meghan closing. Markle. Meghan Markle has polluted the Harry. She has taken... He's an adolescent. He's a young boy. <laughs> no, he isn't. He's a fully grown man. He's 30-something year old. And he is uh, perfectly uh, at liberty to decide on the course of his own life rather than to live his life to the script that has been written for him by persons unknown. But it is, um, uh, in it is uh, instructional to know that you voted Conservative twice there, Jonathan, and for Brexit. I wonder how that's going for you. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, I expect it is, yeah. All right, <laughs> thanks for that, mate, whatever that was. Uh, it was. It's Eminem's fault. Yeah, thanks a lot, Eminem. No! You see what you've done, Harrow, Jonathan, Harrow. Yeah. 
Oh, Nick, that was scary. You had a big uh, confrontation with the guy. I dropped my phone. You dropped your phone? Because you and the other guy were having big argument. Right. And um, but, did, did your phone survive? It sounds excellent. Is it a landline? Thank you. Uh, are you OK? Am I OK? Yeah, are you OK? Yeah, cause, uh, no, not really, because this country now... Uh -oh. it, I, I haven't called you for a few weeks, because each time I call you, mm -hmm. people on the Twitter, they say things like, Uncle Jonathan from Harrow is a crazy... He's a... <laughs> Who let this person in and all of this? Very right. well, well, you know how to deal with that, Jonathan. Uh, well, not call you. Well, you could do that. Yes, that would uh, cut it off at the at the very root. Yes, or no, you could, not, or, but, but, or, but, or, yes. or, or you could not read Twitter. Better. But then I wouldn't. But this this whole this whole um, uh, Gerald Gary Lineker yeah. thingy. Mm -hmm. He. So, so I think it is. I was telling uh, your um, reception. Uh, My, your receptionist. Chef, yes. Hello. How may I help you? Mm -hmm. I, I was telling her that I'm shocked. I'm, <laughs> this is so. No, seriously. Well, that, this is that, so that shocking. That bearded Hulk through the glass is a her. I had no idea. No, but listen to me. Uh, this is so shocking. Mm -hmm. Because this now Gary Lineker. The point on which I might disagree with you. Yes. I don't think he's particularly profound or intelligent. Well, profound and intelligent are two completely different things. I don't think he's either. Oh, um, well, I think he's fair. I think he's pretty intelligent. Um, profound, he's, he's, I'm, I'm not too sure about, but I don't think uh, profundity is in his remit. But the, what is happening now by the BBC, because the BBC for a long time, people are saying that there are lefties. Have you heard this? There's a BBC are lefties. And yeah, now people and, the, are saying, uh, and the Conservative uh, donor who is uh, at the top of the uh, BBC and the person that used to be a Conservative councillor who is his uh, second in command, uh, yeah, they're, they're just too left-wing for some people. That's right. No, this is the thing. But now the people are saying that there are right-wings. Mm. And with... This is the, the burning of the Gary Lineker is almost the anti walkie backlash. So if you think about it, if you think about I want to say something about your voice actually in a second, but about my what? You, your your voice. My voice? Yeah. Okay then. But if it if you think of it like a big like charcoal pie, on the one hand you've got the walkies mm -hmm. and the the hashtag do the walkie cookie and the other yeah. side you've got the anti walkies. Jonathan and this is all the backlash. Yeah. Can we can we talk about talk more about the the big chocolate pie? <gasps> no, no. But listen, you, mm, I was listening to your. Um, like what is your chocolate? What is your problem with Carol and Nick? Yeah. What what's my problem with Nick and Carol? Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. And your voice it sounded a lot more Cockney. About more Cockney. Because you were educated <laughs> in private school, but in the radio you sound very posh. I, well, I don't really sound very posh, and um, part of my education was in a comprehensive in Essex. Well, I don't, I don't say that to make a cul culture war with you. Yeah, well, it sounds but, like you sounds like you've started no, one already. But, but this country now, what is happening is people are. Oh, sorry, wait, sorry, the neighbour is knocking on the wall. Wait, I, 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 I shout. <laughs> the problem is, now, now listen to me. The problem is the culture war yeah. means that the economy can't be taken care of because I got a little bit of metal in my finger last week. Right. Not in your I went right. to, to, I, I initially thought you were going to say in your brain, but okay, went, in, in your finger, went, you got a little bit of metal in your finger. Yeah. I, I went if to only, the if only there was, if only there was enough time before the uh, man starts to speak for you to tell exactly how that happened, Jonathan. But, but sadly, we're never going to know. Isn't that disappointing? Let's have a call in uh, Harrow, Jonathan. Oh, it's nothing. Hello. What? No, I thought speaking to somebody. Can you hear me? No. Nick, I want to say when uh, I heard you to a couple of weeks ago, I phoned you, and you were sounding very low. Low? How low? Are, how low? But three feet? No, a couple of feet. No, because of the Two foot six. Me, because of the because of the Rwanda, you were sounding like you had the depression. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I've never heard you sound so low, but you sound okay now. Okay. You sound more, more fearful. More fearful? Fearful. C-H-E-E-R. Fearful. C-H-E-E-R. Full. Yeah. Right. Cheerful. Uh, right. So, so 
the point is, so I thought you suffer. Oh, you sounding the de- depression a, last there's time. A, there's, so, a, there's a point. Go ahead. Yeah, there, there's a few points. Right, um, lay it on me, baby. I, I was going to end my call with this, but I'll, I'll start with this one. Can I do? It's very well, controversial. I can't, I can't. I can't wait to the end. But go on. No, no, come on. Do you think, like all of your other LBC colleagues say, that Jeremy Corbyn, who I was uh, canned into not voting for, do you think he was that anti-Semitic? Um, I think uh, the um, I think the press were uh, particularly unkind to Jeremy Corbyn, specifically okay. because he said that he was going to look into the concentration of news titles in the hands of a very few number of people, and the uh, moment those uh, words left his lips. Every single news baron levelled their cannons at him and started blasting away. So I, I feel so guilty for not voting for him. Right. That I said this time, you didn't answer if you thought he was anti Semitism, but I, this time I'm not, just to make up for the penance, I'm not going to vote for the Starmer. Right, who are you going to vote for? Just because I feel so bad because they can't me. They said he was the anti-Semitism yeah, yeah. and he was... Right, I get it. Right, so who are you going to vote for? Just nothing. You're not going to vote for anybody? Because the problem is... I have to say the, ne- the neighbour knocking on the wall again. The problem is... <laughs> no, hang on, it. hang on, hang on, back up. The neighbour is knocking on the wall. Uh, yeah, because I'm shouting. Because you're shouting. But the point is this. So this means that you shout a lot. I know, because I'm, I was getting headache, because this country, I'm financially getting yeah, the ruin. Right, you're, you're getting a headache. Imagine how it must be for your neighbour. But culturally, we are economically ultra-conservative, but culturally, I hate to say the word, we're wokey. We're, we're wokey? The wokey, the wokey, you won't like me, but the wokey-cokey means the, there are five topics we can't talk nothing about. Right, the, you're... You, you do the wokey cokey. Wokey dokey. The, the no, wokey cokey. Yeah, you put your left leg in, your left leg out. Th- th- and, that's the um, problem. Then you spin around on the one that's still on the floor, uh, making sure that you don't knock anything off the coffee table. Do no, there's too much left. You there are five topics you can't talk nothing about. Like, okay. Uh, the, okay. Like, to- topic one. The, the the demise of the men because of the ultra feminism. The demise of men. Where have yeah, they because, gone? Because I'm I'm not gay, but when in the street I look at the men's bodies, yeah, you, they look uh, very feminine. Right. You um, uh, a certain thought go, flits across your brow. I understand. They look. They are not well weak. And you in in the workplace, I'm yeah. not. I'm not anti woman. You're. But uh, did you have artists, yeah. You know, you're, yeah. You know, you know what would be um, much better for the neighbour if, when you're on the phone, you start yelling. If if you were just um, stepped into the wardrobe, step into the wardrobe for me, Jonathan. It's the walkie talkie means the and then, feminist and, has yeah, and, the and then as soon as you've finished talking to me, you can just step out of the closet and then carry on your uh, normal everyday life. That's my recommendation to you. Thanks a lot, Jonathan, for whatever that was. Uh, I would like to apologise because I haven't called you for a few weeks. No, that's fine by me. Don't you worry about that. You can not call Be- me for uh, a couple of weeks as many times as you like. Because I've been trying to leave the country and I'm getting... I, don't, I, I wanted to tough on three things, actually, three mm-hmm. points. Yeah, you've been trying to leave the country. You've been driving in a straight line and you still haven't found the coast yet. No, listen to me, because um, I've been travelling across like the that. country... <laughs> I've been coming across the country. Um, there's problems with my visas and things, and um, I've, I've travelled widely over the past ten years. And now, to be honest with you, on own... wait a minute. Yeah. When you say that you've got problems with your visas and thingies, what do you mean by thingies? Disgusting. Nothing that we don't want to uh, hear about. I hope. Well, no, it's nothing dodgy actually. Oh, um, right. Carry on. But I, I genuinely, uh, actually, last uh, last night, the night before, I'm mm-hmm. getting such. Uh, the, you know, it, it oppresses this country's economy now. The whole country has fallen apart. Yes. Um, and I met uh, the uh, friend of mine, who is the friend of uh, quite a well-known Pakistani political family. Mm-hmm. And I was in London, and I had a sirloin steak. And because I'm, my, I told you, I got rid of a cleaner, and uh, it, my f- finances are teetering. And you yeah. know, one sirloin steak and ship is thirty-two pound fifty in London. <laughs> Yeah, well, never mind about that. Think about how the cow feels. And the one gin and tonic is fifteen pound. Fifteen pound for a gin and tonic. Booze. Where yeah. was that? It was in the London, actually. In the London, um, right? Well, that explains it. 
because I, I voted the Brexit and mm. I don't want to be racist. But? But no, the Eastern European <laughs> workers are all, they're all quite polite and hardworking because this morning I was at the mother's flat. Not at my house, I was at mother's flat. Mother's flat. And, and I had an Englishman, um, he come to do the electric and a very surly attitude and he actually oh, got very angry because he actually kicked mother Sipa. Hang on a minute. He kicked your mother's what? Huh? He, he, he did the, he was like, no, no, I did all of this, charge me. And then when he was leaving, uh, leaving he kicked Mother Sipper. He kicked your mother's? S-L-I-P-P-E-R. Slipper. Yeah. He kicked so, your mother's slipper. Was your mother still wearing it? No, it was in the hallway. In the hallway, right. Uh, I think he might have been a racist, but I looked at him, you know, gave, gave him a strong look. Mm -hmm. One of your patented um, stares, yes. Uh, because all of the Eastern European, the hard workers, the good workers, they've all yeah. left. Well, that's and, because we yelled at them to get out of our country for five years straight, after which they did. After voting Brexit, I voted for the Brexit party. Yeah. And how's that working out for you? I, I don't regret nothing. You do <laughs> Wait a minute, you don't regret nothing so you do no. regret it no listen to me because this country i'm now, listening to you everything is it is oh my god it is so i, I can't swear so can i say the c word C R A? no 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 okay it is so terrible it is rubbish right well it's because of people like you jonathan who refuse no, to apologize Where, where's this apology no, no. that i've heard so much about no, because I wanted to quickly touch on an issue of role models and the Farage very quickly. Role models and Nigel Farage. Well, OK, this will be interesting. I can't imagine the two fit well in the same thought, but go ahead. Because like this early English, I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning for this electric day. Yeah. Well, so, I woke up this morning. Yeah. You know, and um, I think the kiddies, they need good role models. I mean, he wasn't the kiddie. He's oh, a nasty piece of work. Um, <laughs> the kiddies need... No, it's true. I was very angry. Um, um, they need good role models, like, the you know, the ginger boy who plays the guitar, the Ed Sheeran? Um, yeah, Prince Harry, yeah. No, and then also there's... The, and even if you're not a football follower, mm -hmm. you, you will... What was um, that? You Even if you're not hang on, no, no, but before you said that, there was a noise. What was that? You just went... It was an indigestion. Oh, indigestion. Right, you were making a... Um, right, there was like a, a, a personal expellation of air. Disgusting. Really? Because, because I, after my international financial matters, I'm now having to do the budget shopping, and I got the chronic <laughs> diarrhoea because you asked me. <laughs> Please don't tell me which shop you bought your food at. I'm begging you not to do that. But on the role model issue, um, mm -hmm. for example, there's a, even if you're not a football fan, the, a, there's a young, um, very, very handsome black man who plays football for the right. Manchester United. You, you forgot to Mike. say, before you introduced this handsome black man, that you're not gay, but... The, uh, Michael Radcliffe. Michael Radcliffe. Yeah, you know, he's the, he did the... Jim O'Brien talk about him. He did the um, free school meal thing. No, my, I, Marcus Radcliffe. <laughs> Oh, Michael. Oh, that Michael Radcliffe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ma Martha Radcliffe. Martha Radcliffe, right. Mm -hmm. You know, you need people like this because I, I just, you know, for the first time, I was in Croydon uh, two nights ago. All of the Eastern European hard workers have left. So I actually just in the middle of the, in the evening, I was sweating after the solar and sick. I feel such tension and anxiety. I started zogging on the street. You started watching on the street? I was doing a run. Oh, you were running. Right. I thought you said something because, else. Because the Croydon, no, I'm not a racist. But, yeah, but <laughs> get, no, get out of there as soon as possible, if I were you. No, because immigration, if you, you say people like me, we want to pull the drawbridge up. But immigration, if there is too many people from too many corners of the world, it is like a continuous stream of noise just hitting <laughs> your head. Do you have any idea what that feels like? Yes, Jonathan, I do. I've just been speaking to you for the last 10 minutes. But it's uh, been a delight. That was almost too perfect a setup. Is he a real person or um, uh, am I hallucinating? Or both? Could be both. That was almost too good a setup.
the stream of noise hitting your head. Do you have any idea what that's like? <laughs> no. I mean, how can I resist that? Yeah, so I have a few points to say to you, some of which you might agree with, some you disagree with. Mm-hmm. But the point is that I've, this, I've had to move from the Harrow because of the cost of living. Harrow? Yeah. You had to move from uh, Harrow? Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah, no, yes. I had to move from hello. No, listen to me. I had to move Speak because... To me like that. <laughs> my business was doing okay. Not great, but okay last year because I told you I, I'm sorry I voted for the Brexit. Yes. I go into the shops now, and when I'm in the shops and walking about the street, people look Wait, wait, so wait, depressed. wait, wait, back. Back up. Are you saying that you're walking about the street in socks? No, no, the stores, the groceries. Oh, shops. Right, I thought that you were... Because I had a little mental image of you there just walking around the street just in your socks. Disgusting. Awful. No, I, I, I will tell you this. I mean, oh, you, can't even, I can't... You, you can't even get away with that in Harrow. Ah, when I came to Croydon first to see Oxford oh, last well, Croy- year... Oh, Croydon, you could get away with it. I mean, <coughs> you know, it was really totally hot in the summer n- Normal last for year. Croydon, yes? You know, it was really hot in the summer last year. Phew, gosh, what a scorcher. And I was, when I got to East Croydon Station, there was, um, because I, I like to talk to everybody, and I was talking oh. to some people. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Warning, warning. Do not talk to anybody in East Croydon Station. I think you will find that is excellent advice. <laughs> No, but then I, I saw that a dog had done, a, you know, the business on the platform. And the guys, they put on hazardous uh, sort of signs. And I said to the workers, what is it? And they said a human had done the waste. Uh, oh, well, that sounds like you said <laughs> it's <Croydon. laughs> it, it was really shocking. But listen, yeah. mm. be- before I go, can I just tell you that I know the economy is doing really badly. Yes. But we need, the, the, the there's a new young millionaire of Indian origin in America who is worth 100 million and he was saying the biggest problem is now the walk- walkies, you know? Oh, the wokey cokey Walkie-dokey? Yeah. No, it's a serious problem because oh, you're... Oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's, fans, what's, the... that's what's keeping us back. Uh, people are having concern for others. Yeah, it's uh, it's no. ru- ruining humankind. The, you, you need people in the government like that Ed Sheridan. Ed Sheridan? Be- because he, when he was interviewed about 10 years ago, one of the interviewers said, do you do a little bit of twerking? And he said, no, do not encourage the people to do the twerking. So he is of the good values, him and also that uh, actor. I saw he's always polite with people, the David Radcliffe, you know, the Harry Potter boy. I've got no idea. Oh, Daniel no. Radcliffe, right. Yeah. yeah. Because, and you, but you talk, were you referring to Ed Sheeran? Yeah, because the thing is, the music industry wants us all to be walking. Okay, and when, <laughs> when now listen to me. When, when an interviewer said to him, "Yeah, will you will, will you, you do, do the, do the okey koki?" He said, yes. uh, "No, not now, not ever, never." Yeah, I, I, I don't have the hips for it. He said, "No, but he said." Well, he ain't got he no said, rhythm. That's for sure. No, he's excellent. He's 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 a proper. Oh, he's a gift yeah. from oh, God. Ed, Ed Sheeran, he he is fantastic. Yes. No, not he, really. No, no. He, you have delighted us enough, uh, Ed Sheeran, with all of your songs about. Ooh, baby, I love your body. And then there was the one, ooh, baby, you've got a great body. And then there was the one about, uh, baby, 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 press your body against me. I mean, Bob Dylan ain't got nothing on this guy. Do me a favour. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. Harrow, Jonathan. Hello? Yes, Jonathan. <coughs> so, I was listening to your speeches, actually. Um, I'm back in Harrow now. Yes. And uh, now, whenever I call you, your fans on the Twitter, they call me the crazy Uncle Jonathan from Harrow is talking about the walkie-cokey again. Yeah. Walkie-dokey? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I say that as a joke, but it is a proper point I want to get to in a second, if I may. But this country is now, firstly, financially, I'm not doing good. Because I was in the Calcutta and the Abu Dhabi, and I took good flights, and I stayed in a nice hotel for a month and a half, actually. And well, that sounds now, suspicious. What were you there for? Just business. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that's cleared no. that up. <laughs> business. No, but, uh, <laughs> business? 
I was spending money in December thinking that things would be okay, like the country's economy would be okay, but yeah. it's not okay. Big mistake, so, huge. I overspent in December, and then now the food is expensive. My water has gone up by the double. Mm-hmm. Now, the law and order, I had to chase a uh, thug, uh, female actually, who beat up my chicken shop owner on Tuesday. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she was a she, and she was... Ad- now, walkie-cokey means that there were some things about her I can't talk about. Right. But because we don't have the free speech, even you, you are like a rebel. You are like the Bobby Kennedy. But even you are a bit scared talking about a few things nowadays. Well, I mean, there's certain things I don't want to talk about. But everybody is now. For example, the Bobby Kennedy Jr., I did not know existed. And he has not been given, uh, like, TV appearances for 20 years. You know the Bobby Kennedy son. Anyway, so she punched the chicken shop owner. Right. And, and, and this country now, the police takes so long to come. And the racism also means that the Carl Handler kept saying to me, I can't understand what you're saying. Or right. Well, maybe they couldn't understand what you were saying. Uh, no, listen to me. And I, have to I am listening to you. Because of the militant feminism, <laughs> I had to... <laughs> no, it's true. A bit, be, yeah. Because of this, I had to keep... Because now the fact no, that I'm never knocking... Wait a minute. Hey, <laughs> I'm not going to I'm, Hang on a minute. So you're talking so loudly that your neighbour bangs on the wall. No, because the point is, in this country now, you have to... Ev- no, ah, a few months ago, I said to you that you can lose your job for a tweet, and your fans, they were on Twitter saying, Jonathan is a mentor. And then well, people call uh, they, you... They, they, they probably didn't say that. But can we get back to the part where your neighbour is banging on the wall because you're shouting so loudly down the phone? So this means that they are really at the end of their tether, that they've they've had this up to their eyeballs and they just can't stand it anymore. So they're now reduced to, um, to, to banging on walls. No, we, we are at the end of our tether. We had the little kiddies... Uh, shooting the water guns at our houses. And I, I came out today and I said to the kiddies, what would you know, Nick, what would you do in this situation? Mm-hmm. What would you know, what would you do? Like if water guns, day, water guns. They're little, they're like eight-year-old little kiddies. Right, and they're, they're shooting water guns at your house. Yeah, at the, at the top window, just a little bit of water. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so what, 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 did, what did you do? Uh, well, now, um, uh, okay, we have to be so careful talking. Eminem, when he became famous, first of all, and kids used to knock on his door, he one day came out with a gun. I did not do that. Eminem? Yeah. Are we actually to... talking about Eminem the rapper now? <laughs> Eminem, that's where this conversation has gone. Eminem, Eminem. No, but what I did, I, I stepped out and I said, if you keep doing this, I, I, I call the police, lovely. Right, oh, that'll and, stop them, yeah. No, but then a, 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 a woman and a man came in a car and said, oh, I might, li- li- they're just little kiddies. We, we all have fun as kids. And then some of the kiddies said, those were my parents. I'm worried now I've got like a hit on me. <laughs> well, don't stand next to me then. Jonathan, it's been, um, trying to find the word, inspirational. It's been inspirational. <laughs> But I really do have to go. And keep the noise down. You nightmare neighbour, you. Harrow, Jonathan. Hello. Uh, good evening, Nick. Yes, sir. Now, I, I, I don't want to disagree with you straight off the, top the first point, but, OK? But? OK, yeah, but I'm going to say a word with I, that innuendo. Innuendo, yeah. Because you're talking in innuendo about the... You're saying nothing is... The, this is nothing wrong... And we don't have free speech in this country now, but I will ask you this. Why is the news not saying that age? Because Philip Schofield is, he's old, he's middle-aged man, yes? Yeah. He's like, uh, what, 60 plus. Is he? I'm... Like late 50s. He's not a spring chicken. No. <laughs> no. You know, he's, he, he's not. He used to uh, do that program. When I first come to the country, he used to do the kiddies program. With, oh, like, with uh, um, some rat. Puppy. Yeah, like a rat. I, I, th- I think it actually was a rat, wasn't it? Roland Rat. Exactly. Um, so, the, the person that... Was, him, was that, that, was that the, hang on a minute, was that actually him? Or are we thinking about yeah, somebody that else? The, that wasn't no, Noel that Edmonds, because Noel Edmonds had um, Mr. Mr. Blobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, 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 where who subsequently uh, became the Prime Minister of this country. Can you believe that? Yeah. 
So, so Philip Schofield, um, he, he had, and let's see how much the Wokey uh, free speech allows me to say. because Wokey, Kokey. Wokey, dokey. Yes. I've got nothing against the gays. But? <laughs> no, but, but how? Oh, no, I'm, I'm very tolerant. Yeah. I, I was actually reprimanded recently. For by your tolerance. Charter. I can understand no, that. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. because I, I got the acronym wrong. It is actually now LZBTQIA+. Wait a minute. L B Z T Q I L plus. Yeah, that is I'm, the whole I'm fairly, for the... I'm fairly sure that that's not correct, but go no, ahead. It is. It is. Um, and by the way, old... if if um if I was a plus, I think I'd be offended. I mean, who are they to call me a plus to lump me in with everybody else? Offensive plus. You, you, you could lose not you, but uh, one could lose their job nowadays for not getting the pronouns correct. Well, I'll get onto that in a second. Oh, How... ma- maybe you will. <laughs> We'll, well, we'll no, see. Listen, I'm not going to, we'll uh, see. Oh, what, yeah, what time is running age? out faster than what, you know. Go what, ahead. What was the age? What was the age of the um, young person he had the affair with? Uh, uh, it was legal, decent, honest, and true, as uh, we have been uh, told over and over okay. again. Yeah, it wasn't illegal. But, it was just unwise. No. So he said. Okay, but the, but the legal age for both the gays and non-gays is a 16 in this country. So what was the age? Well, he was working there. So let's assume that he was older than that. What difference does it make? Well, because if, if, and this is where the walkie talkie police come oh, in, God. because if it was a 16 year old. Uh, and that's old very man, unlikely that it was, but if it was, it doesn't really make any difference. 16, 17, well, 18, 19, 20, doesn't, what, who cares? Well, he's, a, he's an old man who is the big daddy of the Satan, <laughs> and he's doing the, he's having big the intimate daddy. physical relationship with the younger gay. Right, but he wasn't, he wasn't chained to a radiator in his basement, was he? he was, it, was, uh, it was, as far as we know, it was um, it was consensual, and it has nothing to do with anybody. I just don't understand why this is such a big deal. No, the, one of the walkie feminist presenters on the news show, she yeah. was saying that there is an imbalance of power because nowadays, of course, if a man in the workplace... That's, when, that, that's always the case when a man will have uh, an affair with anybody else because, A, he's married, so there is an imbalance of power there. If the, this relationship isn't going anywhere unless I get divorced. So the, there's there's always an imbalance there. Every affair that has uh, ever existed between um, between t- two grown people will always have a certain imbalance. I mean, one of them will earn more, one of them will be uh, older, one of them will be bigger. There's there's always an imbalance. I, d- I don't really get what you're what you're trying to say here, Jonathan. <laughs> But it is an anti-man agenda, but also... What's an anti-man okay? agenda? You know, nowadays in the workplace, even if you look at a woman and say, oh, you, I would never say this because it's a lot of racism. <laughs> but if you look... No, listen. If you look at... I got reprimanded. Yeah, for, well, I would think so, yeah. No, no, I asked. When I came back from the Abu Dhabi, I needed a chartered accountant, but I'm not corrupt. And I, I well, heard, I don't know that, that you shared this that 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 you shared the information that you weren't corrupt straight away does uh, rather no. ring bells of suspicion in my mind. No, but can, can I just finally say that I had to yeah. I asked the accountant her pronouns were they them, and I wanted to know if she was a lesbian or a gay. Right. And well, what's that got to do with counting? She was your accountant. All you needed to, to know was, can she count? And one. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, two. That's right. Um, six million. Oh, bad accountant. If, <laughs> if that's how your accountant uh, adds, Jonathan, then time to get another accountant. And whatever it was you were going to say next, just, <laughs> I think I have, uh, I've, I've saved us all. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't believe you. Harrow, Jonathan, hello. Good evening, Nick. Yes, sir. I, uh, I mean, it's, it's been the best of times, it's been the worst of times. Explain. I, so a few years back, I used to live in an old uh, woman's loft. A shoe, yes. And, and I, uh, what? I learned the phrase, the mea culpa. So I start off by saying to you, I'm sorry. Right. I, I voted for the Brexit. What? I voted for the Conservatives because I, <gasps> I thought Boris was a good chap. Oh, my God. 
We found, we I found one. I, I, I would apologise to you. I put my hands up because mm-hmm. this country has been run to the ground. He is an adulterer. It is not allegedly. He is... <laughs> no, listen to me. He's a philanderer. Yes. Disgusting. He, he does not take responsibility for the things that he does. For anything. My road now has got so much rubbish on it. And today I grazed my sweatpants, my jogging pants, on some filth. Now, just wait a minute. Ha- hang on just w- just one moment. Did you just say you grazed your dogging pants? My dogging pants, my sweat pants. Oh, jogging pants. Right. There is nothing left of this country no more. And I'll just tell you this, Nick. I'm sorry to you. I'm ter- sorry to the Jeremy Corbyn because I believe the propaganda that he was anti-Semitism. Right. And I see these thingies. Mm-hmm. And I think Brexit, Boris, it, it's all gone completely bad. But can I say something a bit more controversial? More controversial? Because I couldn't talk about politics yesterday because yours was a serious show yesterday. I didn't know if the boy would let me on. Yeah. Because you have the proper guests and things like the Zena Miller. Right. Well, I didn't. That was today. But go ahead. <laughs> but Are you all right? Is this. I was just coughing. But um, <laughs> I couldn't call I, I couldn't call you yesterday. But right. the what thing is... Sweet we, relief. We have to... We have to... Hello? Yes? We, we have to look into the future because the Kia Starmer, I don't want to offend you, but the Starmer, <laughs> he is very, you know, it's true, listen to me, I was, I was watching the TV recently. Yeah. This is us looking into the future. Mm-hmm. I, I was watching the TV recently. Other flowers are available. And he is just very dull. You need, Bill Clinton writes in his book that when you look for a leader, you need to picture them as a president. So yeah. They have to have charisma, exactly. And he does, and you will not like me for saying this, but Boris Johnson still, he is more seductive. I'm not gay, by the way, but <laughs> no, listen to me. Yeah. Uh, but you find you still, find you find Boris Johnson seductive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, 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 where do we find? Right. You know, listen. He is more charismatic than the Kiev Tower because. Yeah. The, the, the problem that in is true. Is going to... But are we a country that wants to be run by clowns, or do we want serious, boring people in charge for a little while? I, I think the latter. Let, let's just give it a go and see what happens. No, the, the general public are no offense; they're idiots. Idiots, yeah, they're morons. The the masses are asses. That is true. You know, if you if you think of someone like Imran Khan in Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto, mm-hmm. the Bill Clinton, Obama, even Liam Gallagher, the pop star, you know. Oh, back Arama. Oh. Serious people. The Liam Gallagher, he's they have. How did Liam of... Gallagher get into that list? Rock and roll. Where did Liam no. Gallagher come from? No, because listen to me, because when they walk into a room, yeah. because Car- Corbyn was a bit scoffy, but I'm just going to, you know, I, I want, it's true. <laughs> when um, they walk into a room, yeah, the room uh, takes notice. Apart from, well, the, the room would take notice if Liam Gallagher walked into a room, because people would be thinking, God, it's like 80 degrees out, why has that bloke uh, got a cagoule on, zipped up to his chin? I, I just wanted to quickly end on the walkie stuff, if I can. The wokey cokey Walkie-dokey. Yeah. Your listeners, they mark me on the Twitter when I talk about the walkie. But the problem is in this country now, the biggest six problems you can't talk about. Mm-hmm. We, we are facing free speech levels to, comparable to China, actually. You can lose your job for talking about the ultra feminists who have taken over this country. Yeah. And last Christmas and New Year, I was in the Middle East. And, uh, you and gave Saudi me my Arabia. heart. And the very next day you took it away. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. What? Yeah. I, I was in for Christmas and the New Year from the um, Abu Dhabi. I went to the Saudi Arabia. You know, Riyadh, have you been? No. And it is much safer than this country because... Well, it depends. Country, it depends on who you are and what you're doing. Because I'm not sexist. You're not sexy? Sexist. <laughs> but in this country, the police now, a lot of them are ultra-feminist women. And the, when I'm not gay, but when in the... I look but, at the uh, um, young, young I, men's I bodies. Don't, I don't know. You, um... <laughs> okay, I stopped you there. I shouldn't have done. When you're in the street and you look at young men's bodies, yes. No, listen, it's a serious point because the genetically modified food, they are making the next generation weak with the chicken and the mashed potato and all of the food has thingies in it. That they are, they are making the man's weak. 
so that they cannot do the next fight. And I'm doing very badly financially because right. last month I bought a marble table and I took the best flight I could to the Middle East because I thought Brexit and all of this would work out. So I'm, Okay, you know what? Marble... I, hang on a minute. I, now, I was sort of with you. I, I, I understood what you were saying at the beginning of this conversation, but, but now you, you just seem to be throwing words together like you're pulling them out of a Scrabble bag. I mean... <laughs> what are you talking about? Can, can, I, can I just, my, my final point, can I qu quickly say my final and point? And in closing, yes. So I, bought a, I bought a marble table for right. an expensive sum, and now I'm doing very badly financially, Nick, and the yes. walkies are going to destroy that. So could you, as a final point, could you and your listeners please give me some money into some my money. bank account? Absolutely. But thanks for asking, and I'm very uh, sorry to hear about your uh, dogging bottoms. Whatever that means. <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot, mate. <laughs> Is it calling Harrow? Hello, Jonathan. Uh, hello, Nick. Jonathan. I was going to say good evening or good uh, good morning, but it's not a good morning this morning. Yeah, you could say was... uh, you could say uh, you could say good night. Bye bye. I was um, not going to call you this week because oh. I was just washing the TV what? this night. You you were washing it. Is that wise? Because I don't want to call you every week because I want to give your other guests a chance to speak. Yes. The television but was I, particularly dirty? But I have been taking, since, yeah. with, taking with anger since seeing this conservative uh, disco Christmas party. <laughs> yeah. You know? Uh-huh. There's the, there's the videos of all of these posh, story, I don't know what word I can use on the radio, like ragamuffin. There was, you know? uh, there was a, a what? A video? The, these posh conservatives at the Christmas time when we were all locked down, yes. they were doing the... And they saw, doing, I don't want to... They the, were doing the dan dancing. Doing the disco dancing. Yes. And they are all so arrogant. <laughs> it's true. They had they their are, arms in the air like they just didn't care. I wanted to make another point, but before that, can I just say that because when I have to encounter these sort of privileged, uh, I don't want to be racist, but, you know, white, posh people, mm -hmm. because I keep having to go to my lawyer's office. It's nothing dozzy, but, you know, when I'm at my lawyer's office for the financial matters, they look at me as if I'm not equal to them. And they do this dancing. I was taking with the rage. They view us as idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. Right. They do. No, I believe you. Shaking with rage. And, yeah. While um, wa I'm, while uh, washing your television. Yeah. Can I make Can I make a quick other point about you? Uh, well, steady on now. You You are a good voice in the media, but I can already tell that uh, a deep state and walkies yes are trying to control you oh, because about the Cuba. God. When, when the Cuba thing, mm -hmm. you said they've got the... I have never been... Sorry, I'm just trying to breathe because yes. I have... I've take never a been this... Take a deep breath. <gasps> I, I have not been this angry since the incident with the Communist Party of West Bengal in 1990 because even now the meat products, I went to the... I won't say the shop names, but I went to the Aldi for the... <laughs> no, it's here. Yeah, without mentioning any names, Aldi... Yes. And eat two little bits of lamb. Mm. Or an um, Poor little and lambs. Remember, I mean, can you imagine? Bouncy, 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 and then they get shot in the head. And remember, I voted for this shower of a government because I listened to all of the anti-carbon propaganda. Right. And now I'm financially ruined. Actually, my, I have a private doctor, and he said to me that my blood pressure needs to be managed. <laughs> That's true. Right, well, my advice is don't watch uh, any more videos of conservative people dancing. But I'm financially ruined, and this GP is expensive. But the point is, mm. a, the two pieces of lamb was £8.89. How much? Yeah, two, eight, £8.89. Do you and get the whole lamb for that, or...? No, no, it was like, um, and they have the uh, little tags on it so that the uh, uh, homeless people don't run away with it. <laughs> yeah, you I don't know? think homeless people are going to take away raw lamb, but anyway. But, but I was going to say that you, because what we're having with the walkies now, yes. they are, they are a, uh, constricting what the people can say. The wokey cokies. Wokey dokey. Yeah. Even the chappy, the scruffy chappy from the take that, had to, um, <laughs> you know, 
That's true. It's serious because yeah. he had to apologize for tweeting something against, uh, liking a tweet against the gays. Yeah, and he, I will just. He said, I am very saying, sorry that I screwed up. He screwed up. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. And can, can I just quickly end by saying this? Uh, even I, I texted one of your colleagues, I won't say who, and I, I, I in the text. Who I was said it? Alt, I said, the alt, <laughs> I, no, I said, I said, the no fault divorce and ultra feminism will be the fall of the UK. And he, he read my text out and he said, yeah. Jonathan, you sound like such a misogynist. No wonder you don't have a girlfriend. And I won't say who it was. Okay, I won't say who it was. It was James O'Brien. Right, it was James O'Brien. Without mentioning any names, it was James O'Brien. Yeah. He was in Aldi at the time. Yeah, he was uh, perusing the lamb selection, I understand. OK, well, you're making a lot of sense, sir, Jonathan. And I appreciate the call. Harrow, Jonathan, Harrow. Uh, OK, Nick? What? Hello? Yes? Hmm. Hmm? I was just saying something to someone. I'm, I wanted to um, say, I mean, I sort of had a few points, if I could say. Well, let's find out. OK, um, I, will, I don't want to bring the mood down, but oh, I told you before. Oh, no. OK, I are you about you to before, bring? Are you about to bring the mood down? Uh, no, but it will be cheerful. You're about to bring the mood down, but it's going to be cheerful. OK, let's I hear did. it. OK. So I was in the... Uh, I don't know if... I, I didn't tell the boy if you can mention the top names, but I was in the Aldi. <laughs> First of all, did you call my glamorous assistant the boy? Yeah, I didn't run, the th run it through him if I can mention right. the top uh, name. You, you ran him through. Go ahead. Um, and I was in the Aldi. In and the Aldi. I'll be honest... Huh? In the Aldi, mm-hmm. And I felt, for the first time, such a depression. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's... Well, it's, a, you know, th 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 it's a no-frills shopping experience. It's not supposed to be depressing, though. No, because I had to dismiss one of my cleaners, because irony of ironies... Hang, um, on, a Hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 back up. Yeah, yeah. You had to dismiss one of your cleaners... Because I had a pair, and the one, and I voted Brexit, not because I'm a racist, but <laughs> the foolish one, she left the country. Yeah, after five years of yelling at her to get out of our country, she did. I didn't vote Brexit for the racialist reasons. Right. Okay. You, you didn't she, vote Brexit for racist reasons. Right, you're not a racist, but go on. But she, she left, so I had to dismiss one, the, you know, the, one of, the other one that was left. So uh, financially, I'm getting... I haven't been abroad since... Uh, I told you, I was in uh, holiday in January. Right. Never mind about that. You have two cleaners. How dirty are you? Um, so, no, but you're not getting my point, because when I feel depressed and I take day trips to central London, and if you go to places like the Marble Arch, there's yeah. so much money. Jonathan, if, if I'm depressed, Marble Arch is the last place on earth I would want to go. What do you want to go to Marble Arch for? It's just a roundabout. No, you've got the street of a lot of the Middle Eastern sops. You know, the kebab sops and all of this, the shisha bar. Right. But the point and, is, and that's supposed there, to cheer you up. There are pockets of such wealth in this country. Yeah, most mostly but in London. Mostly. I Because I'm getting crippled financially. I actually... Went well, I'll tell you what, much. the first thing you should do is fire, is like clean up after yourself. Fire your cleaners. You need... To, I've never heard of anybody who needs two cleaners. Can I make another quick point? Why do you need two cleaners? Well, because you you only live life once. <laughs> no, listen What's to me. What's that going to do with it? I, I had a more serious point to make. Can I make it? It's about the Greek men. It's about Greek men. Because there were videos on the news about the Greek bouncers who are very tough and... Uh, you look, a lot of your listeners, they mark me on the Twitter because I, I said the wokey um, problem that we've got. Yeah, we've got okay. a big problem with the, with the wokey. Okie dokie. Yeah. But it's, I mean, I don't know, I think you agree with me because it's really suffocating. Can I just um, say and uh, state on the record that I don't agree with you about anything? Well, I, I think that's quite rude, actually, but the point <laughs> is... <laughs> well, no. you ain't heard nothing yet, Jonathan. Stick around. No, but the thing is that our, our, our British men now are becoming very feminine. Yeah. And when they go abroad, it is not the days of the British Raj. Mm -hmm. And when they go to Spain or the Greece, yeah. they have their little hats and the... I'm, I'm not homophobic. But? But 
But well, I, I went to the Bond Street station and there were rainbows everywhere. <laughs> It's true. I'm not I'm being serious. Right. Now, Everything. is that because of a, uh, the conjunction of sunlight and moisture in the air? Or are you talking no, no, about was, flags? No, no. It was, uh, it was a huge escalator. Yeah. I don't know if you take public transport because some, like, some of your presenters used to say they have private drivers, like when I listened 10, 12 years ago. I don't know if you do. Private drivers? Yeah, like the Nick Ferrari, he has a driver. And oh, okay. Used, yeah. Right. Um, but, um, so, you can't, okay, anyway, um, moving on. But in, in the Barn Street, yeah. um, on the uh, escalator, yeah. there was the uh, Gay Pride. Um, well, flag, that, uh, that, that's a big sign, Jonathan. You don't want to take an escalator in, take, in case it turns you gay. No. But the last point I wanted to make is, can I, uh, did you get scared when I said the Nick Ferrari's driver? Because he's the big daddy of the station. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. he certainly is, yeah, but, but, I, but I don't I don't think that he gets driven. I mean, w w are you talking about a cab? No, no, because before, when I used to, um, when I had more money, my main place was in London. Now I've just got the one place. And it was, I used to listen in the morning, and he used to talk about the fact he had a Muslim driver, and they were very good friends. Right. He used to talk about it. Okay. Um, but but, but the, what, does that, what does that have to do with all the uh, the rainbow flags on the um, escalator and you turning gay by uh, using public transport? No, I'm, I'm not I'm not gay. But the Are you is, sure about that? No, because you were saying don't uh, don't take public transport, take yeah. a driver. Mm. But in, I mean, in, in central it, London... It, is, it in, is somewhat suspicious that you're hanging around Bond Street, though. But the point, now listen to me, the point is that the English men's now, you know, if, if you go into a boxing gym or something, if a you lot go, of them if, are... If the, you go into a what? If you go into a boxing gym... Oh, a, a lot boxing of the, gym, right. Yeah, a, the, a lot of the men's are the um, Eastern Europeans because the British men nowadays are mainly concerned with wearing the little um, gay hats and talking yeah. about that. Little and gay hats and uh, lipstick and um, some concealer. Yeah, I understand. Uh, so when was the last time you went into a boxing gym, other than never? No, no, uh, uh, about uh, sort of two, three years ago. I a couple did a of few years sessions. ago, right. Mm -hmm. I did a few sessions. Yeah. And H then, hung around uh, in the uh, sauna to um, see what you could see. I understand. Well, but the, but, but the thing is that you, I don't want to, before, I know you've let me speak, but before I got, you, you don't think, you know, Jeremy Corbyn, do you think he would have made this country? <laughs> no, listen to me. Do, do you think well, he would have you, made this you country? You need an A to Z to figure out where this conversation is going. Now we're talking about Jeremy Corbyn. If your but, question is, would this country be better with him in charge? Absolutely, yes, 100%. But it is, it is not, you know, nothing is, uh, you know, guaranteed. Because like I said, I had to sell my car. I've, um, yeah, I you, fired, been you fired one of your cleaners. I haven't been on a holiday. And, and by the way, on the Twitter, there says a Jonathan in Harrow, he's dodgy. I do nothing corrupt for my money. And I'm such a considerate neighbor that I did not even want to put the fan on at night in case <laughs> it... Um, Jonathan, uh, you know, you, every disturbing. time you call me, other than this particular instance, you've got people mm. banging on your walls from next door telling you to keep it down. That is not no, a considerate neighbor. No, because I'm, a, I'm in a hotel today. It's holiday. Right. Because you so have you can to, make as much noise as you like because you've paid for the room, damn it. But, but it's expensive and financially I'm struggling in this country. Yeah, you've only got the one cleaner now, I understand. Well, um, I, I, unfortunately I came without my violin, otherwise I'd be playing it for you right now. Thanks a lot, Jonathan, for, you know, whatever that was. <laughs> stuff you hear on the radio it's uh it's amazing yes yes it is i'll maybe i'm amazed get paul mccartney on the phone he can sing it for us conversation nick and uh, to be fair i didn't bring it up you did i'm just closing it down on this show harrow jonathan uh, happy birthday to you nick thanks a lot jonathan <laughs> I had I had no idea before because I'm having a stressful time nowadays. Um, I you, had no idea. You're having today was my birthday. You're having a what put on? Stressful time. You're having a what? Stress, stressful time. Oh, stressful! You're having a stressful time. Yes. So why why is that no, then? I had no idea that today was your birthday, and you're so no. dedicated. You are presenting it's on not, your birthday the best wishes. No, not not today. This week. This week has been my birthday. It's my birthday week. Oh, oh, yes. Um, happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you know, the Ranjit was talking about Kabaddi as a sport. 
uh, yeah, what is that? Because I'm from Kolkata. Well, you know that Calcutta? That, oh, I just knocked something over. Um, the Calcutta, <laughs> where the, no offence, where the British were based and were looting India from. Right. Where, what did you just knock over? I knocked over some hand gel and a bottle of orange juice. Hand gel and a bottle of orange juice. What, you making a cocktail? <laughs> no. But I went to the Afghan restaurant today and I'm so stressed I walked out with a glass. You went to an Afghan restaurant? Yeah. There were no white people in the customer. Right. And is, I, I'm is that so stressed. A, is that about... <laughs> that stressed you no. out? Because there were no white no, no, people? No, 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 not that. Uh, not no, that. no, I'm not no. white. I'm saying I, I walked out with a glass. Mm-hmm. But the... But why... The that, hang on a minute. Why did you walk out with a glass? Because I have high stress levels. I'll tell you in a second. I'm, I'm not sure that that is um, a, a, a defence in a court of law. No, because I was walking midway and I was drinking from the glass and I thought I have to return it because I can't have the Afghan bread because of my bowel. <laughs> That's true. What, um, what is it about Afghan bread that uh, upsets your bowels so? Now, any bread. I'm the, uh, the glutton and wheat intolerant. Right. You know, so when I, I was actually, when I was in India, I couldn't get anything that was glutton free, you know, wheat free. Mm-hmm. But the point is this, with the Kolkata where I'm from, the Kabaddi was a big sport and it is basically two groups of men and you just, you have to chant, you don't know what British Bulldog is. No. The kiddies play it in the school playground, you have to, it, it's essentially the same thing and you just, essentially if I'm playing it with you, yeah. or say you, me, Nick Ferrari and James O'Brien, right. And the three of you are chasing me, and I have to do in one breath to do, and this is absolutely true. You are in one breath, you are, oh, sorry, in one breath, in one breath, you have to do. <laughs> no. Wait a minute, is that your neighbour banging on the door, uh, banging on the wall again? Again, yeah. Yeah, right. In, in one do breath, you spend you Do you do spend it? all day long in your place just shouting? Because it, it seems like he has, um, like, a, like a, a trigger finger as, as far as... Um, uh, Trigger finger is not the right phrase at all. But I've I've eaten a lot of glass uh, today, Jonathan. I'm not thinking straight. He, you, he, your neighbour appears to be uh, on the edge of fury with you at all times. I'm spending more time in the house because for the I, I I'll tell you about Kabaddi in a second. But I'm spending more time in the house because of my work situation. My financial streams are running out, and yes. I'm getting very stressed. I'm having to think about selling my uh, BMW. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. It's right. Stressful. Well, that's that's very very stressful um, thing to consider. Yeah, you've you've had to sack one of your two cleaners, and now you're thinking about selling your BMW. No, I was. I'm on cleaner number four. He's an old English man, and he did not show up. He didn't show up. The old English man didn't show up to clean your place. Because I tell you, I voted Brexit, and now all the Europeans have gone, and it's just English people. No offense, I'm not a racist. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they don't they don't talk they don't talk you know so, no but but the kabaddi is in uh, again the kabaddi is in one point in one breath so if i'm playing with you nick ferrari and james o'brien you're all on one team and you have to and i in one breath have to say kabaddi 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 like this mm-hmm. what's the point of doing that no, well, that's the sport. It's like a, it, you get, you can search for it on the YouTube. They used to throw oh, it on the Channel 4 I'm in defi- the 90s. That, that doesn't sound like a game to me. That, uh, I don't know, it sounds like you're having a fit. But you asked me about it. Well, that is true. It is my fault, yeah. Can, can I quickly mention something about this uh, the, the situation now? I mean... Uh, well, you better, again, be, you better be quick because your neighbour's going to start banging on the wall again. No, just very quickly. So my financial situation is crumbling now. And I just think, you know, we are now, we don't have free speech in the UK. For example, this woman's football, you are correct, nobody gives a damn about it. <laughs> well, I didn't think, I, I don't think I'd put it quite like that. A lot uh, of people do care about it. It's just that me, not me personally. I'm not r- mm. remotely interested in the Rugby World Cup either. But that the doesn't, make me, an, that doesn't make me a Nazi. The r- women's world rugby world cup also not interested. No, not, I'm, not I, I'm not saying the women's rugby world cup. If indeed there is such a thing, I'm just I, I'm saying the rugby world cup, the men's rugby world cup. Don't care. No, but listen to me. The point is, I am this, listening to you. 
and they've kicked me out of my office, the uh, rent space that I used to rent, and it's yeah. been very stressful. And each radio station or television I switch on, it's always the feminism. And this is not a sexist thing, but, but it's <laughs> uh, every radio channel, every television station, oh, let's empower the women. Now, let's stop being walky and teach our kiddies to do something other than the twerking, vaping, and uh, promiscuity. Because <laughs> it, it, I'm being serious, because... The, the way the way my finances are going, Nick, I, I'm genuinely thinking, how will I get to the end of the year without going to Kolkata? And I'll probably have to become a prostitute. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck with that, uh, Jonathan. What are you What are you thinking of charging? Uh, a homeless man once said to me, he just he said, he, okay, I, you know what? <laughs> Whatever you're about to say is is probably something that I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear what a homeless man said to you in relation to the subject of um, selling your, selling yourself for uh, sex. Pretty sure I don't want to hear that. But I do wish you all the best in your um, new endeavour, Jonathan.